Hi, I'm Fran and I'm Head of Research at More Than Equal. We're, we're currently doing a large-scale research project to better understand what characterises good racing car drivers, so from a physiological, cognitive, psychological perspective. So we're using this opportunity uh, where there's, there's a lot of female drivers to gather, gather that data and insight onto to what characterises those drivers at different stages of development. I think what's interesting about motorsport compared with other sports is that actually comparatively there's very little data on the human performance factors in general, so whether that's male or female. So what we need to understand is are there any differences there? Because if there are differences there, that can inform training, uh, there may be certain strengths that female drivers have that we can really lean into as, as coaches. So the end goal really is that we will have um, benchmarks across a range of different physical, cognitive, psychological assessments at different stages of development, right from karting through to to F1 and we would have male and female benchmarks at those different stages of development as well. And the aim is that they become, they would become the gold standard for what drivers have to aspire to uh, and, and work towards as they say, for example, made that move from F4 to regional and, and so on. So what we're doing is assessing the different cognitive skills that enable a driver to make better, faster, correct decisions. So for example, we've got tests that measure a driver's ability to scan lots of information, select the right bits of information. And then we've got um, tests that measure their, their capacity to hold different pieces of information at speed. And that's obviously really important because your ability to make a good decision is reflective on the amount of input that you have into making that decision. So if you can only attend to and hold a very small amount of information in your mind at any one point, you're probably not going to be able to make great decisions. So that's what we're assessing um, to develop that understanding of, of what cognitive profile is of, of racing car drivers.